Hello there guys, welcome back to Insta Dream. my name is Liam and on today's review we're going to go through something a little bit different. We're going to be looking back at one of my old college gigs, so uh, be prepared for some cringe. Don't forget to leave a comment and probably a dislike on this one. I don't know. Maybe you'll find it funny looking back like I do, but just for now, we're just going to look for it. It's going to be a bit of a longer video because I'm just going to play the thing in its entirety and just react as we go. Just so you can watch the whole thing. So let's just jump right into it. Play. So. In this gig, we all had different roles as well. Instead of just playing, we had to organise the thing and run it. So uh, one of the students is on sound desk, someone's on the lighting. My job when I wasn't on stage was door duty. So I drew the short straw there. Or maybe not, it's a bit less work. So we start with Learn to Fly by Free Fighters. This is what me and the guitarist kind of do. What's well, something else worth mentioning is um, the, the loudest person in the class, I would say the entire class, but no, it's really just one person decided the dress code should be smart. See if you can guess who that is. Give me a clue in our band. <laughs> oh. Like I said, there's a student running the sound desk and he kind of hasn't turned the vocalist's mics on. Well, it's not the mics, it's just the volumes all the way down, so... It's an instrumental, this one. Also, um, I did try and follow the dress code best I could. I've got my white shirt on. Short sleeve at that, but a white shirt. And I've got a tie around the head. I wish I knew beforehand that no one was going to follow this apart from that one person. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing that. So we've got two guitars, bass. Oh, yeah, another set of the stage is ingenious as well because you can't see the other. He's a. Uh, you can see the top of his hair just peeking over there. <laughs> He's a solid drummer though, so luckily that keeps us all together as you're about to find out. <laughs> Never ceases to amaze me. It'll make me laugh, sorry. Every time they go to sing and there's just nothing. You can sort of hear the harmonies. It's not bad actually. Too bad no one can hear it. But yeah, that guitar, he is just so pop on the keys. Just rolling into it. He, loved, he wanted to do a few fights on. And uh, when we were back to get him, we said we definitely did one. So, that's what we chose. Also, it is worth bearing in mind that although this is fairly good so far, apart from the lack of the vocals, we only had like two weeks, two or three weeks to prepare for this gig. And we only got one practice session a week. So Two or three sessions worth of practice. Oh god. I forgot, I was doing the octaves to the main part of the song, but on this part, uh, that guy said he'd do a kind of octave solo, so we're not playing the same thing. But uh, like I say, with the limited practice we had, I don't think he really had anything planned. Oh god, it's up to me to keep time. Drummer's there to help. <sighs> that kind of, kind of a good build up. Yeah, I like how we really went up and uh, uh, brought everything down to just the basic chords, but well, I just felt empty when the vocals didn't come in. See this guy messing about over here, like, come on, you can press this button. He's like, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> I think I heard everyone just cheer there for the vocalist finally getting to sing. Wasn't too bad. <laughs> However, that's where the good news ends, I'm afraid. Oh. 
They're just staring. <laughs> I don't know whose who song that was, but they're just like... And the next song you can actually hear us. This is Lost to Me by Phoenix. Have you guessed who the, um, who chose the dress code yet? Just wondering. Oh, I'm on the bass. Am I playing it? Have they forgotten my volume? No, I'm sure mine's on. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a college bass, so there's some strings with doors or anything. I didn't actually own a bass at this point, I just said I'd play it for a song. But yeah, it's the dullest sound thing in the world. And then our bass is just going with keys. I really don't think this was the song for her, though, because she's like, she can sight read and everything, and we're just playing this indie pop song. I don't know if you noticed this one, the uh, guitarist, he's improvising. He's just doing little variations on the, the main part of the song. <laughs> the harmony carried on, but the singer just sort of forgot. <laughs> We only had a few weeks, you know. Granted, it was only three sessions as well, so you're gonna forget parts. He's a really good at improvising that guitar, though. He's just doing a little. He's just playing the same thing, but with different points on there. I'm actually playing anything. You just like yelling at Oh! <laughs> they both forgot! <laughs> oh, my smile out! <laughs> I did this quite a few times in college gigs, I just set out to look ridiculous. And I did. Ooh. I said you're doing good at your first gig, but I got there. I was fine there. All this bit's weird, it's like you change the key a little bit. It's not now, it's a second. Um, they're singing. I think they're singing as part of it, right? Yeah, big time. Think about it, we probably should have chosen easier songs because we've only had a few sessions. Not a few bad songs. Oh, someone needs to get that new strings. It probably still hasn't got new strings, I haven't been there in years. And it's like a tip thing outro uh, with a key solo, but she can it. And then they start singing and it's, uh, we improvise and we cover it up. And I think we did pretty low with that. <laughs> Here's a song that finishes very abruptly. Oh, there's the teacher. And there we are! So, that is one of my early college gigs. This was, uh, I think, the first one we did in second year. And then we, just after we came back from summer, they just sent us straight to work. Um, and it wasn't that bad for what it was. Obviously, if we had more time, we'd be able to do better. Um, and if some people were more familiar with their positions, such as the sound desk, for example, not naming any names, um, then perhaps it would have sounded a bit better as well. But overall, it was pretty okay. I did a few more um, gigs in college, of course. I seem to only have the ones from the second year, though, so that's going to be the earliest one that I have. And for both this gig and the next one that I'll do a review for, 
I had the same drummer, um, so you actually get to see him in the next one because it's actually set up as a proper stage rather than just a few big speakers put out. And while we're on topic of the drummer, I'll give him a quick shout out. It is actually a drummer from an indie band from my town called Cosmonauts. I'm going to leave their link down in the description. They are really good. I'm not a big fan of indie music, but they're pretty good. I've actually been to see them live quite a few times, so go and check them out. They sound just as good on the live recordings as they do on the normal recordings. And be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you for all your support, guys. It means so much to me that you watch my videos, and I'll see you in the next one.